So you might be trying to go through and customize your lock screen on your Android phone. Now, if you have a Samsung Galaxy, such as my Galaxy S22 right here on One UI 5, you can just hold down on the display like this, and you'll be able to basically customize a lot of different things on your phone. So hold it down on like the lower half right here, and you'll be able to come here, and you can edit your time, your the clock font, not the time itself, but the clocks, the wallpapers, the icons, so many different things. Now on stock Android, we don't have that crazy amount of capability. Unfortunately, if we hold down on the lock screen, nothing happens. As you can see, we don't get a pop-up. So the only way we can go ahead and customize our lock screen on our stock Android phone is by actually going through and getting into our settings application. So go and make your way over to settings. And what you can do here, I don't know if the settings gonna change in the future, but you can just go ahead and type in a lock screen. It should be under display, but in case you're using another type of Android phone, you wanna type in lock screen up at the very top. And what you can do here is you can go and click on the display and it'll bring you right into wherever the lock screen option is on your device. So you can go and click on lock screen and you'll come into this panel. Now what you can do here is there are tons of different things you can go and customize on your lock screen of your Android. So starting at the top, you can go ahead and add text to lock screen. So it, this is basically for Android 13, but if you're rocking an older version of Android, you should have some customizability. You should have some customizability as well. So you can go and click add text to lock screen and you can go ahead and type in a certain text if you want to that I'll showcase on your specific lock screen of your phone. If you have a company phone or whatever, you can drop it there too. Now here, you can basically enable these specific options if you have a specific you know, lock type of thing like a privacy lock, like face unlock or passcode or whatever. You can go and enable that here, which is really cool. Now here, double line clock. You can go ahead and do a double line clock if you want to here. So if I go in and disable this, you'll see that now the clock is like this. Personally, if I'm going to be honest, I kind of do like the clock being like this. So you can go and you know kind of customize it however you want to. But personally, I think that looks better. Now you can go ahead and also kind of, kind of modify your now playing device as well. So you can identify songs playing nearby if you want to. But you can also just you know kind of customize here too if you want. Now at the bottom it says always show time and info. You can go ahead and enable this if you want to. Tap to check phone I have it turned on, lift to check phone I haven't turned on, and then wake screen for notifications you have on as well. So it's not as much customizability compared to One UI, but it's still a little bit of a thing that we can go and customize too, which is nice. So we basically have a little bit of capability when it comes down to that. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, love me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.